Hello and welcome to a quick video about Supreme Commander 2 on how to install mods and maps. Now, let's say that you already have these mods. I'll show where to download them later. And now you basically want to load them in the game. So first things first, you need to find where the game is installed. And to do that, all you have to do is open Steam, go to your library with all the video games, and find Supreme Commander 2. And now if you right click, and you go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files, it is going to open the folder where Supreme Commander 2 is installed. And 99% of mods and maps, they all go inside game data. So if you want to speed things up, whenever you find a new mod that you want to load, unload, all you have to do is create a shortcut. So you just right click on the folder, Create a shortcut, and then if you drag this to your desktop, if I close this and close the mods, there you go. Whenever you uh, open this, it's automatically going to go straight into the game data folder. Very similar to how you can set up a replay shortcut, as I showed in previous videos. And now, all you have to do is just take the mods and drag them straight into game data and that's it you're done <laughs> and it actually doesn't matter what you name these you can rename this to whatever you want but I like to put underscores at the beginning of the names because if you sort by name in Windows you can see that all the mods are gonna show up in one spot right it's a lot better than sorting this alphabetically and then trying to look for all the mods inside all the other folders that you cannot take out of the game because if you mess with these, you're gonna break the game and you're gonna have to reinstall, verify... Uh, yeah, it might be a good idea to show that actually. So if you got any problems with the game launching, uh, all you have to do is go to Properties and this function right here, Verify Integrity of Game Files, is going to go through the entire game and check if there's anything missing and it's going to download all the missing files. So if there are any problems, after you've been messing around with the game files, then all you have to do is this. And it's just gonna quickly download all the files that are screwed. So now that you got the mods installed, and you name them whatever you want, but I wouldn't recommend changing the name because if you're communicating with others and trying to agree like on what version everyone has and well, what map pack the maps are from, then it's not good to mess around with the name. If I actually launch the game, let me just show this real quick. All the mods are loaded. They're inside the folder, and if it's going to load all of the maps, then it's going to become really hard to navigate the map menu. So it's not a good idea to have all of the maps loaded at the same time, and as you can see if I scroll through this, you're going to start seeing some duplicates of some map names. And that's because uh, the only way right now to uh, basically make these maps show up in this menu, because of how like mod unfriendly the game is, is reusing names and spawn points of uh, maps that uh, already exist. But just because the spawn points look like this doesn't mean that that's uh, how it's going to look in-game. So, uh, let's say that you want to unload some of the maps. All you have to do is drag these out of the game data folder, right? But to make things easier, you can actually make a folder inside game data, so you don't have to keep track or where the mods are on your desktop or anywhere else on your disk. So all you have to do is just create a new folder inside game data and name it whatever you want, doesn't matter what it's called. And the way that the game works is that it's going to load only the files that are uh, inside the game data directory, but it's not going to check any subfolders, it's not going to go any deeper than game data. So if you put all of these uh, mods inside the unused folder, then if I launch the game again, and you do have to restart any time you want to load or unload something that you changed in the file folder, if I now go to Skirmish, you're going to see that the maps, the modded maps are no longer there. Uh, what was it? Figure out fields, yeah there you go, you could see the the map that I just showed is no longer here. 
And as I scroll through this, it's all the normal maps. Now, whenever you want to load, unload any kind of mod, all you have to do is just go in the unused folder, take it out and put it inside game data. And now the next time you launch the game, because it's inside game data, it's gonna get loaded and the mod is gonna get activated, basically. Uh, now the question is, where can you find these mods? And a very good place to find them is the Supreme Commander 2 Discord. Link is in the description. Just open that up. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. Server invite in the description. And if you scroll down to... So this is the top. You go down a bit. There's going to be a lot of channels. And you go down to mods and maps. And if you're modding the game, you're going to find some useful resources here. But if you go inside the pinned messages, this is basically like a summary of fun map packs. But I also recently added a Google Drive link. And if you open this link, it's actually going to be the folder that I was showing in this video. So you got some map packs in here, a camera mod that just unbinds any limits. So you can take some cool screenshots, some more map packs, a fun... Uh, <laughs> 1v7 map where one player gets a monkey lord and everyone else has only their ACUs. Infinite mass, no mass palms, you know, all sorts of things. And I will probably keep adding mods here. Uh, there's, there's a lot of mods, but not all of them are gonna be as interesting as these, right? So this is just like the most, the most interesting ones. And if you want to find more, then all you have to do is just check out the mods and maps channel and have a look at all the all the things that are here. I will also have to uh, make a video on how to fix a problem with the drivers because recently NVIDIA made an update that uh, messes up your drivers and right now all that we have is just a post and announcements. If you go inside pinned messages and you jump to the message then there you go. Uh, just a quick post here on how to install the files required to fix this, pretty much. Oh, that's, whoops, <laughs> different channel. There you go. And you need, uh, you need Soldier's Mod that expands the mod ability a bit, makes the game less unfriendly towards modding. And then after that, you got Maxing's actual, oh, God damn it! <laughs> you got Maxing's actual fix which is going to fix the FPS issues that are caused by any NVIDIA drivers installed after, I think, December 2020. So there's that. And there's the Google Drive link. And that's pretty much everything. I hope I didn't miss anything. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any issues, feel free to leave a comment and I will respond. And uh, have fun with the new maps that you just installed. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Are you seriously playing Subcom by yourself? Come join the biggest Supreme Commander 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000 active members. Server's over 5 years old and we're still hosting games daily. I'm telling you all these stupid facts because we're still like you and we're just Oh yeah, and the invite is like the first link in the description. You'll find it.